Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are on day 31 of the 31 days of tarot challenge, you guys. This is it. We're at the finish line. <laughs> and today's prompt is what sort of tarot apps do you work with? Do you actually work with them? Um, and on what platform? So I do. I have a lot of tarot apps, actually. In fact, I had to kind of pare them back because I had too many. <laughs> um, and I do work with them on a regular basis, actually. I will use the app if I'm at a place where the deck that I've, I, I carry a lot of decks with me, just kind of what I do. But if I'm on break and I'm still sitting at my desk at work, and I don't want to be like, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Like, you know, having people here over the cubicle walls, like, you know, what I'll do is I'll pull up the app, okay? It's amazing. If I forget to do a daily draw in the morning, I'll do it with my phone. So I have a section that just says metaphysics <laughs> in my phone. And you can see I have a lot of essential oil applications along with Deluxe Moon for moon phases. If you happen to be a metaphysical practitioner, you need this moon app in your life, okay? Um, but you'll see here at the bottom, I have the Golden Thread Tarot app and the Mystic Mondays app. So holding it up, kind of fuzzy, kind of hard to see, but the one in the center is the Golden Thread and then we have Mystic Mondays. And then, next to that, I have a whole slew of apps. I have the Shadowscapes app, um, the Book of Shadows so below. I, what I end up doing is I get these apps first, play around with them, and then see if I like the energy of the cards, what I'm actually seeing, the pictures, if I get intuitive hits off of it before I go out and purchase the deck. Now, the Shadowscapes is the only one where I had the deck first before I actually, now on my second deck, before I actually purchased the app. That was a bit of a reversal. <laughs> but it was so I could take the deck on the go without having to actually bring my physical deck with me. It's convenient. You're not having to worry about smudging your decks, you know, you may or may not want to smudge your phone. I don't know. <laughs> Up to you entirely. <clears throat> I do not. I feel that the computer sufficient, you know, that I feel like the phone sufficiently clears itself, if that makes sense. And I'm the only one that ever uses it. I don't use the apps for reading for other people whatsoever. So I have the Shadowscapes, <clears throat> Book of Shadows so below, the Wildwood Tarot, Tarot Mooka, and here's what one of those looks like. So, okay, let's kind of get away from the light here and the glare. So you have new reading, draw a card, today's card, and explore. Explore is where you're going to be able to actually filter through the cards, look at the meanings, see if it's something that you like. And most of these are low Scarabio decks. I have the Terror of Trees, the Druid Oracles, the Fairy Oracle. Okay, scratch that. The Fairy Oracle is another deck that I had first physically. I think I purchased it in, it may have been 2009 or 2010. It was around the same time that I picked up the Shadowscapes actually. And then I have the Gaia Oracle and the Spirit Animal which is actually just a, it's not a low scarabio. This is more of like a, just an indie app, it feels like. 
So I haven't played around with that one too much. The ones that I use the most are Shadowscapes, Wildwood, and the Book of Shadows So Below. And you can see that's kind of what the apps look like a little bit. I will do my best to try and insert a sufficient <laughs> screenshot, but I'm not that tech savvy, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but these apps are fabulous because most of them also come with a journal. So, for example, if you do a draw on here, you can go back into your journal and you can see I have a ton of entries because I use the Shadowscapes a lot. <laughs> um, but you can go back through your journal, look at what your card of the day was or what question you typed in, um, spreads. That one's kind of a weird one. I asked what's occurring with my menstrual cycle at this moment in time. This was apparently back in 2016. I don't know if I was having a weird issue. Um, um, but you know, whatever question, it will keep it logged in there. Or if you just do a daily draw, it will show that as well. So having an electronic journal with a lot of these apps, and you can check out the app and see, you know, what the journal is. Uh, if it has a journal, I meant to say. So you can check out the app beforehand, see if it has a journal. But really, if you just go into the app store on your phone or pad, you'll be able to just type in tarot, see what comes up. There's going to be a lot of different options. But these are the applications that I have and that I actually use. I have not, out of all of these, the one that I haven't played around with at all, aside from downloading it and opening it like once to make sure it worked, is the Mystic Fundings. <laughs> and I mean, I know that I said that I download the app to kind of get a preview of what the deck is going to be before, you know, going out and making the purchase. But I backed the Mystic Mondays Tarot on Kickstarter and I had already seen a lot of the images through the campaign. And then after backing it, the app was available for download. So that was another one where it came slightly after, but I still have it and I don't have the physical copy of the deck. Although, those are shipping out soon. So unboxing, hopefully, <laughs> um, as of filming this, they haven't shipped out, but we'll see if you guys happen to magically see a unboxing of the Mystic Mondays deck before you see this video. My fingers are crossed. But that is it, you guys. I use them. I have 11? 11 on here. Yes, and use quite a few of them on a pretty consistent basis. They're convenient, they really are. And I don't feel that not being able to physically shuffle the deck really detracts from me being able to get a clear and concise reading. I do feel like I get fairly clear and concise readings from using these apps. The universe and source will get you the messages you need no matter what platform you use. I wholeheartedly believe that. And these apps are a testament to it. But that is it for this video, you guys. We are all done. We made it. <laughs> we made it through 31 days of tarot. This challenge was amazing. I am so glad that you guys took this journey with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot wait until next year already. 
very, very excited to do this again on YouTube because this is an amazing platform to be able to just kind of stream consciousness to you guys and have a, it feels more like a dialogue. Even though you're not here with me having a chit chat, I feel like we're having a chit chat. You know what I mean? Maybe you know what I mean. All right. You guys let me know what your favorite apps are. I'm always looking for new ones. If you have one that's amazing that I didn't mention, hit me up in the comments below. I hope you stick around the channel even after this challenge is over. We have some amazing, amazing stuff coming up, okay? I won't disappoint you, I promise. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will catch you in the very next video. But for now, we're calling this series a close. And until then, blessed be.